What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Terminator 101. This is a video that I had no idea I was going to be making. Um, and I, for a very, very long time, kind of talked myself out of doing it because I posted about this on social media and I created an episode of the podcast about this topic. And eventually I decided to take it down. I feel compelled to make this video at least because I need to make sure that I have a documented way to express my uh, distaste for the person that we're going to be talking about here. And uh, that is Sophia Stewart, a woman who claims that she is the creator of the Terminator and the Matrix. Now, this video is not going to cover the Matrix. I'm not going to talk about the Matrix. I'm not going to get into that stuff. Um, this is strictly Terminator because this is Terminator 101. So the reason I took my posts down and I took the episode of the podcast down, when I made all that stuff, I was going off of just watching interviews with her. A bunch of listeners made me aware of this individual in the beginning. I had never heard of Sophia Stewart. And before I go any further, some people would absolutely be appalled at the fact that me someone who is a diehard Terminator fan, is even making a video about this person and kind of, you know, putting her in the spotlight. I'm not putting her in, a, in the positive spotlight. I'm not here, you know, praising her. I'm here literally to take her off of her imaginary throne that she thinks she is sitting on. That's the whole point of this. And to really um, make it aware to you guys that this lady with these claims of creating Terminator is profiting off of nothing but false claims. And when I made that episode and when I made those posts on social media, I didn't have the actual source material that she is uh, saying all this stuff came from. So I felt obliged to take that stuff down until I bought this uh, supposed book right here, The Third Eye. Unfortunately, I bought this book. I only did it for research. I only did it so that I could 100% uh, verify my belief and uh, a lot of other people's beliefs. So hopefully this video is kind of what you've been looking for. Definitely do not buy this book. Do not support this book. Unfortunately, I bought it, but again, I only bought it for the purpose of this video and to spread awareness. I didn't buy this book because I wanted to read it. By the way, this would be a very boring read. Let me just tell you because all of this, all of this stuff right here, these are all court documents. Look at it. That part right there, that chunk right there is all a court document. The rest of it is her breaking characters down, comparing the works, you know, so. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to kind of interlace it throughout the video here just to kind of give you guys a up close and personal view of some of this stuff. It's so insane like this part right here where she is comparing her her work against the Terminator. <laughs> it says, "Quote, we will be back." Quote, "I'll be back." <sighs> identical plot, identical plot. Identical characters, identical characters. And let me tell you something. I'm also going to show you here. The actual uh, story that she is claiming all this is based off of is nine chapters long. Nine chapters. Okay, keep that in mind. This lady's off her rocker. And it has nothing. Got it. I've read, unfortunately, I read these nine chapters. This is it. And this lady is smoking some great crack because there is absolutely nothing in those nine chapters that even feels remotely close to the Terminator. James Cameron's The Terminator. She's profiting off of false claims because she made, uh, well, I think this book was like 30 plus dollars. So she can shove that, you know, wherever she wants to. And I have an idea of where I'd like her to shove it. This is a, a, a very interesting thing that she has put out here because this thing is filled with grammar errors, uh, typos. It's amazing that she calls herself an author. She loves to pat herself on the back here because look, in the about the author section, it starts off child prodigy, prolific writer, poet, and creative genius. Okay. Uh, I mean, if, 
it, it, Jesus, uh, if you want to say that, um, be my guest. You know, I'm going to actually have a couple interviews that I've watched on YouTube uh, with other channels and, and whatnot outlets. I'm going to have a couple of those interviews linked down below as well. Feel free to watch those. And uh, I don't know if creative genius is what she really conveys. Uh, she comes across as someone who is scatterbrained uh, all over the place. Initially, one of my biggest gripes is that she never really talked about her creative process. She she never went into great detail, and she doesn't she doesn't go into great detail in this book either. Book. There's a great interview that I've been listening to. Unfortunately, I haven't made it through the whole thing because this lady just pisses me off beyond belief, and so I have to stop it and kind of catch my breath and readjust and and uh, refrain from punching walls and and all this stuff, you know, when I am listening to it, she just does not know what the fuck she is talking about. Like I said, I'm going to have some of this stuff kind of put in the video here so you can get an idea, you can pause, you can look. We're just treating this like a, a library book, right? You'll just be uh, checking out a book. But yeah, Sophia Stewart is a uh, liar, a hack, wacko, nut job. Uh, she's all of the above and more. She claims that James Cameron, Gail Ann Hurd, blah, 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 need to go to jail, uh, she needs to go to jail because she's clearly making up bullshit, at least when it comes to Terminator. This is funny. She compares one of her characters, and I can't even pronounce what this, what this word is, Isius, Isius, and then she says that it's the same character as Sarah Connors. Sarah Connors. First of all, she doesn't spell Sarah the way that it's supposed to be spelled. She spells it S-A-R-A. -A, and then Connors. Sarah Connors. Okay. Yep. Y y oh, yeah. Y you know what you're talking about. It's never fun when you're a diehard, passionate fan about something. In my case, Terminator. Right? It's never fun when you find people that feel privileged to the point where they claim that uh, they created the work, the work was stolen from them, uh, plagiarized, whatever. It, it, it's never a good feeling, you know what I mean? You feel like you actually have a part in this uh, uh, passion and, and, and fandom, right? And then someone comes along and disrupts it, and it's never a good feeling. So, you know, I've made it my mission to really do my research between the interviews and this piece of shit right here in front of me, I've done it, and I've come to my conclusion, which I've just stated to you guys. So, Sophia Stewart, you and I have been in contact on Facebook, and um, I've uh, been very clear in expressing my distaste for your claims. Clearly, she's made this her life. <laughs> this, uh, this lady is very interesting. I, I, I won't lie. She's very interesting. Anyways, guys, I've talked enough about her, so my only dilemma now and uh, maybe leave a leave a comment down below. Let me know what I should do. What should I do with this book? Should I keep it for future reference? Should I burn it, shred it? Interestingly enough, this paper doesn't feel like it would be terrible for toilet paper. You know what? I mean? Like it feels. Yeah, I mean it. It has a nice quality to it. I mean, she definitely went out of her way to get some good paper. This might be some good toilet paper in it, and if so, man, I got, I'm set for quite some time here. Anyways, guys, I'm done. Uh, get rid of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video if you believe that Sophia Stewart is a hack, wacko, nut job, liar, all that stuff. We need to spread awareness of this. She has too many people uh, kind of on her bandwagon. We can do it. And this is the only thing that really, um, unless it's like a live stream or something like that and someone asks, this is really going to be my only video or anything that I create talking about this subject because it's best to just let her, and I'm taking this from uh, Morgana, thank you Morgana, let her fade into obscurity. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the other links for Patreon, uh, the Facebook group, uh, Tech Noir After Dark as well as social media. All that stuff is down below. Click on them, check it out. 
until I make my next video, until I make the next episode of the podcast, until I make the next Patreon exclusive episode, post, discussion, whatever the hell I'm doing, keep on terminating.